We out here again today for day 19 of the 30 day challenge on how to improve your relationship. So today's topic is bragging about your spouse, bragging on your spouse. How often do you brag about your spouse? How often do you give your spouse accolades? How often do you tell those around you how great your spouse is? Hey, Kelly, I see you. Thanks for watching. How often are you speaking all of these things, specifically speaking them to your spouse? So today's video is not just how often you should talk about and brag about your spouse, but how often are you doing this to your spouse, to your partner, to your girlfriend, to your boyfriend, to your fiance? How often are you bragging about your spouse to your spouse. See, this is one of the things that I wish I would have known to do more often in my first marriage and all of the other dating relationships that I was in because it makes a difference on how you look at the relationship. It makes a difference on how you talk about your spouse. It makes a difference on how much you focus on the negative versus the positive. It makes a total difference on how you are showing up when you are with your spouse. So a lot of times we have the tendency to go out here and tell our friends, tell our family, tell everybody about our spouse, but our spouse. We have a tendency to tell all of our friends and family. So for instance, you out there, you're having a conversation, they bring up the fact that they like that their spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend does X. And then you're like, you know what? My actual, my actual spouse does X as well. Or they, they don't do that specific thing that they might be talking about, but your spouse does another thing. And so you begin to share all of the beautiful things that you like about your spouse and what they're actually doing, which is perfect. Not knocking that at all. Actually keep that up. However, what I want you to add to the pot is the fact that I need for you to tell your spouse, to tell your partner how great they are. Tell them to their face. This is going to be something that is new to a lot of you out there because this is not something that we think about doing. It's easier to talk to outsiders about our relationship. It's easier to talk to outsiders about our spouse. Somehow, it's not as easy to talk about our spouse to our spouse, especially when we're giving them praise. Why is that? Why is it so easy to share with outsiders about how great your spouse is, all the things that they're doing right, all of the things that you love about them, but you have yet to share this stuff with them or you share this much? See, I was talking to a client the other day and she brought up that she was talking to a family member and how the guy, this particular family member was ticked off at his wife because he would hear her and has heard her several times bragging about him to other people. But his complaint was not the fact that she was bragging about him to other people. His complaint was that she was bragging about him to other people and she never share these things openly with him. Why is it so much easier for us to get out here and share with others and not sharing it with the very person who needs to hear it from you? All of us need that boost to let us know that we're doing good, that we're doing great because life can be hard, life can be stressful, and we want to hear some of the things that we're actually doing right instead of always hearing the things that we're doing wrong. So make sure that you are adding in what your spouse is doing right. Give them their accolades. Let them know that, dang, this actually stood out to me about you and I'm very happy. See, I actually do this in my very own relationship. And when I first started doing it to my husband, he was like, he thought that I was actually just joking with him, just as he calls it. He likes to say that I'm um, uh, uh, putting too much butter on it is his statement which means that I'm laying it on too thick. I got the lacquer out. I'm just rolling with whatever I'm saying. But it's not that at all. It's what I actually feel that I want to praise him about. It's the things that I'm thinking that I don't want to just keep up here. I actually want to let him know that I do appreciate this stuff about him. 
So as I told you guys before, um, my husband is African, so he did come from the country of Nigeria, and I wanted to let him know because it took him, it's, he went through a lot of adversity to actually end up here in America, and I wanted, I wanted him to know how special and how I was like, dang, he went hard in the paint to follow his dream. He went hard in the paint to follow his dream. And I wanted to make sure that I spoke those words to him. So here are a few reasons why you want to brag about your spouse to your spouse. Here are a few reasons. Because it actually focuses on you adding to them, adding to their character, adding to their happiness, adding to their entire um, uh, mindset instead of subtracting. Instead of you thinking about and focusing on the negative, it's going to make you fall even greater, even harder in love with your spouse when you focus on the positive more often. So you'll be adding to your spouse, adding to their self-esteem, adding to their, dang, I could actually do something right. It's not always something that I'm doing wrong. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. That makes a difference. So you're focusing on adding to versus subtracting. Another thing is that it actually makes you think. Yes, you as the person who's giving the compliment. You have to think about these things that you are adding to your spouse, that you are adding to your overall relationship. So it makes you think about all of the things that you truly like, that you truly love about your spouse, about your relationship. But specific to this one, I need for you to brag to your spouse about them, about him, about her. Brag to your spouse about him and her, him or her, excuse me. Brag about your spouse to your spouse because don't they deserve to hear it? Don't they deserve to actually have a smile coming from the words that you're speaking to them? They deserve it. They've been there. They've done that. They're doing these things consistently. And in my husband's case, he came from Africa and he made his way to America and he's making it work here in a foreign country. He deserves to hear it. Like, dang, you went through a lot to actually get here. Big ups. Your story is not going to be the same as my story, but whatever it is that you're feeling that your spouse, your husband, wife, girlfriend, fiance is doing, they going hard in the paint. You can give them some accolades. Do it. Brag to them to their face and not just behind their back. Don't only always tell everybody else how great your spouse is, but you never tell your spouse how great he or she is. Spew it out. Let them know. Lay it on thick. Thick. Be genuine, though. Be genuine when you are sharing this information with them. But say the words. Let them hear how much and how proud you are of him or of her. They need to hear from you because when we get into these relationships, we want our partners, we want our spouses to be our biggest cheerleaders. No, it don't always work out like that. But these are the little things that you can actually do each and every day to let your spouse know that you're in their corner. You know what? I actually do listen to you when you talk. I actually care about the things that you say when you speak those words. I want you to know that I hear you when you speak. You don't have to say it to them in that moment. But later on, when it pops into your head, like, dang, they had to do a lot. Hey, Toy, how you doing? Thanks for watching. <laughs> but whatever your spouse is doing, going hard in the paint, whatever they did, give them the accolades for it. Tell them how proud of them you are. Brag about your spouse to your spouse's face and not only behind their back. Another thing when you brag to your spouse about your spouse to their face, is that you're actually showing them how much you love them, how much you respect them, how much you honor them, how much you just care about them, their entire being, everything about them, you care about them. You want them to know that you care about them, that you support them, that you're there for them, that you listen to them. I, you know what? I heard you. And you don't have to say those words, but when you're giving the accolades, they know that you actually heard them. 
when they were speaking, when they were sharing with you. A lot of times it's that sensitive information that they start to share with you because it's their life story. It was part of their struggle, at least in my husband's case, because that's the story I talked about, right? That was part of his life story. It's a part of his struggle. Yours don't have to be a part of the struggle, a part of the life story. But if it is, again, pay homage. <laughs> Give them the accolades. It could be just that, you know what? I actually like the fact that you opened up the door for that lady yesterday. I like the fact that you took the time out to uh, mentor that little boy just for those few minutes. Anything that your spouse is doing in a positive light, let them know that you see them. That you truly see them. That you see their inner being. Hi, Ascent, I see you. Thanks so much for watching. So, yes. Think about these things, start to implement, implement them into your relationship. You will absolutely see a difference. This is another way that you can improve your relationship by 3X. And as I mentioned before, if you implement all of these things, by the time I get to this 30 days, your relationship can be 5X, 10X instead of just 3X. But most people aren't going to come and... Um, implement everything i get it it can be overwhelming thinking about all of this stuff but if you take a few of these things that i'm mentioning you can 3x your relationship you can 3x improvement of your relationship but you got to do the work you got to do the work and in this case doing the work is just giving your spouse accolades to they face that's it that's it i will see you guys here tomorrow for day 20. Man, we more than halfway there of this 30-day uh, challenge. So implement these things into your relationship so you can see an improvement in your relationship. I'll see you guys here tomorrow around, let's see, around 8, 15 to 8.30 Pacific Standard Time. I'll see y'all then.